So hi, Micropunter here. This here is uh, the base of a microscope. It contains all of the electronics and you can also see that there's the, the halogen lamp here. And uh, I detached it from the microscope because it didn't work anymore. Um, and uh, we've got a whole bunch of microscopes in school and uh, we think, uh, or we originally thought that the transformers are all broken. It didn't turn out to be like that. It was actually in this case, at least it was just the lamp, which didn't work. But it took me a little bit of time to actually figure this out. And I'm just gonna show you um, what I've done because I originally intended to actually take out all of the electronics and convert everything to LEDs. Now that is, uh, to LED uh, that is not necessary anymore but I'm still going to show you how it's possible to connect an LED lamp here um, instead of a halogen bulb. Well so these are the microscopes uh, that need uh, repair and all of them do not work anymore in the sense uh, that the electronics uh, don't doesn't work so there is no light. Uh, so I decided to take uh, one of them apart. I yes, unmounted the base which you have already seen and this is the part that I took home uh, for further analysis. And um, at her home I had a close look. Uh, the silver box that you see here, that is the transformer and it produces uh, six volts out of uh, the power supply. And uh, these six volts are of course used then to power the halogen light lamp. But uh, what are the different parts now? First of all, this here um, um, is uh, the power supply cable which goes to a switch. Um, and then um, here is the main switch of course. Um, then the power goes into the, uh, the transformer. Um, and uh, the blue cables that you see here um, on the left side here, yeah, they, they are connected to a variable resistor and uh, they control the power supply to to change the voltage of the power out which is uh, connected to the halogen lamp and uh, this is actually how you exchange how you're supposed to exchange the light bulb you do not have to open everything completely but there's a little uh, door um, on the bottom of the microscope yeah, that can be opened to directly access um, the halogen lamp okay so I'm now uh, yeah checking whether the, the fuse is still intact uh, and uh, so I'm removing um, the fuse here because sometimes uh, the things don't work because the fuse is broken and if you hear the beeping sound and this means that there is a good connection and of course there is a beeping sound so that the fuse is actually not broken and the fuse is therefore not uh, the reason why the microscope didn't uh, work. And uh, when uh, inserting the fuse again you have to make sure that you do not insert it too deeply. So that is way too deep, don't do that otherwise there is no connection, no proper connection. So only insert it a little bit um, and then um, yeah. Uh, put it back and uh, then this way you can make sure that uh, there is a connection, a good connection here. Yeah, So that means that uh, the fuse is not at fault and uh, we can try to continue to look uh, for the problem. I've already told you that it's actually the lamp that is broken but the lamp itself looked quite okay. Yeah, so I'm simply checking whether there is a main power 230 volts alternating current. That is not a problem. You don't want to do that normally um, because otherwise you can electrocute yourself and also the transformer produces right now at this setting at least uh, 3 volts so if you turn it up a little bit and of course you get the 6 volts but uh, yeah the power is actually uh, yeah reaching the lamp and this should have already been a first indicator that the lamp has a problem um, so uh, what I've done uh, next is, is I've simply taken the lamp out uh, and it looked okay. Um, there is no black uh, deposit anywhere. It looked quite okay. It did not look broken at all. Um, so evidently uh, there is a problem somewhere. But when I measured it, I was actually able to see that there is, uh, yeah, no no connection here. Um, so it's indeed broken. So I, I took out the lamp from another microscope. I'm always using tissue paper because you do not want to get any fat uh, from your fingers on the lamp because this can really break the lamp. Um, so I've uh, taken an intact lamp, I've inserted it um, into the microscope um, and uh, here I'm inserting the lamp right now. Of course, uh, be careful that you do not get any finger uh, prints on the lamp because this can actually really destroy the lamp. So and then let's see if, uh, if this works, okay? And uh, I switched it on um, and uh, forgot to connect the power supply here. Um, I, have to, I still have to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it um, on. And yes, it does work. Uh, that's actually uh, quite a straightforward uh, 
issue here, what we have. And now I wanted to actually uh, figure out really um, where the lamp uh, was broken. The other lamps I put it directly under my microscope. And uh, I tried to look at the filament and look at this. Yes, here it is here. That is the break. Okay, it was very difficult to see. Uh, but here under the microscope, uh, it's uh, quite easily visible. It's the lamp which was at fault. Yeah, so okay, so that's basically uh, the proof. Uh, the lamp is broken. A little bit uh, disappointed I was, I have to say, because I was actually hoping that uh, this would give me now a good opportunity to take out all of the electronics and uh, to change it over to LEDs. I'm not going to do this now. Um, I'm simply going to exchange the light bulb. But uh, one of the things is I still want to show you how it is possible to connect uh, an LED. Yeah, so here is a little uh, collection of LEDs and resistors uh, and uh, bought this very cheaply at an electronics shop. Um, and uh, I'm simply going to put one of those uh, LEDs in there and I'm going to break it because I am not connecting a resistor to it. So I'm directly connecting it. Um, and uh, I uh, yeah, bend it up uh, a little bit and I switched uh, it uh, on and I discovered that it did not work. And then I checked and I discovered that it, the transformer supplies a direct current. And I measured it out so you see plus six volts and then I had to turn around the polarity of the LED and then it did work. You can see that you switch it on now and you turn it up and yeah, it, it does work. Um, it did not provide a very stable light. It was flickering around a little bit as you can see right now. And the reason is you should never ever connect the LED directly to a power source uh, because um, the current is so high that it will break the LED. So I changed the LED around and the, this green LED worked for a few seconds and then it also didn't work anymore. Yeah, so as expected, uh, yeah, I broke it and uh, it actually got quite hot and it started to smell pretty bad, badly. So I took a approximately a 0.5 kilo ohm resistor, which happened to be also in my collection there. And I soldered the resistor to one of the connectors um, of another LED, one that was still intact, um, because uh, you, the resistor is important to limit the current. Yeah, and then basically I connected the LED and resistor combination into to the socket and then um, yeah, I again switched on light and you can see it works, yeah. Um, and you can actually also control the brightness a little bit. Of course, it, this was not a very bright LED um, and uh, the, the brightness provided here would not have been enough uh, to actually uh, power um, the microscope. Yeah, if you connect the second LED, then you can see that uh, it also works like this was just playing around a little bit. I mean, I have to have uh, some uh, film clips to actually make a YouTube video. Yeah, and if you connect uh, another resistor in parallel, you can see that this increases the current and also the brightness a little bit. Uh, but still, it's not bright enough uh, to be useful for microscopy, I think. Um, so I might actually go out and buy um, a new halogen bulb. I did find a bright uh, light bulb, but as you can see, um, it, the response is very non-linear. Um, as soon as uh, you turn it down a little bit, it starts to go off immediately. You turn it up a little bit, then it goes to the maximum brightness. Yeah, so the non-linear response of LEDs can also be a somewhat of a disadvantage. And even this uh, bright uh, white LED is actually not uh, bright enough for microscopy. Uh, it's a pity. Maybe I have to connect several of them. So that's it again. Wish you all the best. Uh, happy micro hunting as always. And uh, if now you know also how the inside of a microscope looks like. Wish you all the best. See you next time. Bye bye.